I'm going to take a look here at how you can draw up a simple survey using Caddy. So we have in front of us uh, just a JPEG that I've dropped into the drawing, not at any particular scale, but it gives us the figures for the, the sizes we're going to use. Could be uh, anything, in really, a building, could be uh, something that we designed, a, a piece that we're machining. As long as the sizes are uh, what you want, you could even be uh, creating something from scratch here, so it doesn't already have to exist. The important thing is that we've got the sizes that we want to put in. And as we just move across on our screen here, uh, I've got a, uh, a notional area. We're going to set that up, don't need to, but it just gives us uh, a sort of reference frame, if you like. And if we were to print this out at 1 to 50, you can see that you can pick any scale you like on a sheet of A1 paper, that's how it will sit in a, a space uh, of that, that a sheet of that size. I would just zoom into a, an area here and now I'm going to go to construction lines. So rather than draw it out uh, using lines in the first instance, we're going to frame it up using what are effectively pe pencil lines. So like drawing in pencil on a drawing board or on a sheet of paper and then just drawing in over the top. So we'll, we'll give ourselves a, a starting point and that's just uh, an X and a Y there. We choose freehand so we can just drop it down anywhere we like. Then we're going to, to put in our construction lines. So we'll, we'll start uh, with our points here. Now I could just type in coordinates or I could use the parallel offset tool here. So if we start at 1250 and say OK, I just point slightly above the line and you'll see that with a, a simple left click it actually finds the line then does the offset all in one. You don't need to indicate the line and then choose the direction. It just does it all in one. It's really nice and quick. We can go and choose the command again from the, the left or we can use the spacebar. So just hitting the spacebar uh, calls the command again and same for uh, anything in Caddy pretty much. Uh, pick on that. It makes working very fast especially for putting in dimensions such as we have here. So then spacebar once more, so 1250, OK to that. And then we have 4250, but that's measured from the previous line, but that's not a problem. So we can type in 4250, OK to that, and from there. We want the parallel again, or we could use multiple parallels for instance. So if we, we choose multiple parallels, we can do them all in one. Uh, we can do it all from a baseline, we can do it incrementally, and in fact down at the bottom of the uh, uh, the menu for construction lines there's a one way you can enter all these on the, the command line as well but we'll do it from here so it's nice and visual so we've got our first distance an offset of 3250 so just wipe over that so we'll have offset 1 offset 2 is going to be 3910 so we'll put that in you'll notice you can change the colour of the construction lines as well so if you've got lots of things going on you're picking up uh, walls you pick up inspection chambers, you can put them in different colours so you don't lose track, which is very nice. Uh, the third one is going to be 5800, so 5800, and then the final one there is 1800, so we just drop a little uh, radio button in there, that will be 1800, and because we haven't got the radio buttons in there, they're all greyed out further down the, the, the line, so OK to that. We just point to the right hand side of the line we've got there, and we can see our lines in the colours that we want them, and it's indicated the line we picked as our original as well, so you know exactly where you've uh, started from. Then we'll go to lines, and we'll choose polyline, we'll choose a snap mode, so we want to be exactly on that crossing there. So our snap modes, we just right click, we've got all the snap modes there that we can make use of, so these are our main snap uh, snap modes and they'll they'll stay there until you do something else that changes them. Whereas the ones in the turquoise here, they will act once, then return you to the snap mode that you've got selected here. There's also an auto snap. Now auto snap, uh, you can customise to do any of these things. But uh, we're going to go for uh, an intersection here. We're going to start at that point, which we'll we'll take to be down here, and then just snap around. You can see that it's picking up the intersection points. So literally just dropping ourselves around, back down to here, across, and then we can either choose to go back there or hit close. Having got our figure, we can delete all the construction lines, which leaves us with our finished shape.